All right, hey ladies and gentlemen, we're, so we're gonna talk about how to clean up and test your tubes. So we've got some of our tubes here from the Philco 16X. Uh, what we first do is just kinda give them a little dry rub here, um, checking for where the any possible lettering or numbers are. This guy, it's down lower, so we're gonna do a little, uh, the old, the old uh, foggy breath trick. We kinda get it polished up a little bit. And once you got this cleaned up, you're gonna take a little bit of this D5 contact cleaner. I spray a little bit into a glass, take a Q-tip, and work that around uh, all the electrical contact points. That's with these guys with the filament on the top. Then you work uh, all your pins here, clean them off, uh, set them aside to dry. And here's a tube, just like that other one that we've already polished up and cleaned up and got the uh, contact points all cleaned up on it. Over here's my Heath kit tube tester, which I've already uh, looked up the values for a, a number 77 tube. We're going to plug her in. I always got to find where the two fat tubes go and the rest of them will kind of drop into place. Oh, if you get the right socket, that helps too. I'm going to play the one of these things. It's not like the other game. Now, uh, on my Heath kit, the uh, connector for the filament typically isn't long enough to reach so I've just got a little alligator clip hooked up uh, to the metal contact point on the connector here so we bring that over just get him situated on the top of the tube got my settings here with the uh, the type the filament voltage and the plate voltage uh, and I've got my uh, pin connector set here, so that's where, uh, in the middle here, we're neutral, and then we select which pins we want to have in either the up or the down position, and we're ready to turn it on and let it warm up before we can test it. These old tubes, it takes a little while. And if you try to test it right now, that well, one's actually warmed up pretty quick. So here we're, we're way above 60 in the kind of the 65 range with for a radio that you're gonna maybe use uh, every once in a while, that's that's probably good enough. So we're gonna count this one as good, and we'll move on to the next one. 